Hi guys, today I'm going to review my Ibanez model number AEG10NII-TNG guitar. So this is the best guitar I've had. I mean, I've only had two. Before I had this one, I had this little one. And uh, it really hurt my fingers. This one I learned on. Um, it's just ugly and robust, and the action was horrible. I got it adjusted and put silk strings on it, and it still hurt my fingers. So I didn't want to play guitar anymore. So my mom took me to a guitar store, and we were looking at all the different guitars there, and we found this one, and she was like, this is, this is the guitar you should get. And I was like, well, I don't know. And I was like, well, you know, I mean, I can tell it will eventually hurt my fingers or something, and I didn't really want it, but I got it anyway, and it turns out it's actually very comfortable. It's really lightweight, and the strings are nylon. The bottom three, they're nylon, but they're covered with, they're coated with something else to make them sound better, but it still, it takes a lot longer for it to puncture your fingers than it does for a regular still string guitar. So that's something that I really like about this one. This one comes with its own built-in tuner, as you can see here, and so this is convenient because you might not have a tuner or it's too many things for you to remember to bring with you when you're guitar playing. And I haven't found any flaws in it, it works pretty well, you just do one string at a time, make sure it's in tune, it says E is good. When you when you tap on the string after you, you want to stop the noise because it says it's in tune, it will display the flat indicator. Because when you, when you tap the string, it changes the frequency a bit. But that's not too much of a problem. Just keep in mind that if you let the sound vibrate for a few seconds, it, if it says it's in tune, then it is. So, I'll just make sure it's in tune right now, actually. Yeah, this G sounds pretty bad. Okay, so that's good. It's a convenient thing to have if you're a person like me who doesn't have very good ears for perfect pitch. So this guitar, like all others, I assume, takes a 9 volt battery. I didn't know that at first when I picked it up. I thought that it was like custom or something because I didn't know anything about electric guitars. But because it's an acoustic electric, you can actually plug it in. So you can play even louder without a microphone. This guitar also has a button on it called Phase. And I'm not totally sure what it's supposed to do, but it basically changes the sound a little. So... does something to the sound. I guess if it sounds horrible, just press the phase button and maybe it'll sound better. Alright, so I don't have really anything to complain about with this guitar. It's lightweight, comfortable, doesn't hurt my fingers unless I play for like 15 minutes or something. Um, and, you know, I don't have too many calluses yet. With any guitar playing, your fingers are bound to get hurt, but this one's a lot easier on your fingers than any other guitars would be, I would say. Uh, it also it has a volume adjuster on it for the treble, middle, and bass. So you can adjust your bass, middle, and high to whatever you want. I personally don't want the bass to be booming so because I want to be able to hear my high strings as well. So I just have these set unequal, but that's just me. So you might want your bass extremely loud, and if that's the case, you can put it all the way up here, and you'll not be able to hear anything. The, the only thing I could complain about is that the strings that it came with 
were kind of old and rusted, um, and one of them broke, but this is no big deal. You just replace the string. I can do it myself. You don't have to take it to a pawn shop or anything to fix it. It's super easy. You just kind of look at it and get your strings and put them on, um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. But that's because I got it from a guitar store, and I think it was used already. If you get it off Amazon with the links below, I'm pretty sure it'll come with brand new strings and you won't have these problems. Uh, other than that though, there's nothing I have to complain about this guitar. I think it's awesome.